Hey guys, I'm going to show you guys how you can turn a Raspberry Pi, as we see down here, into a remote transmitter using a simple GPIO pin and a wire. As you can see here, I have a wire hooked to the pin 7 and that is going to act as a transmitting antenna. We're going to be using something called RPI TX and this will allow us to transmit using that GPIO pin. And so, I have on my Pine tab here my antenna hooked up and I also have the receiver GQRX open. We're going to go ahead and receive it, test this out real quick, and I may do further videos down the line. I just wanted to introduce this to you guys in this video today. So, RPITX, you can find it on GitHub. I will also leave it in the description. It will allow you to turn your Raspberry Pi, whether it's a Zero or a Pi 4, as you see here, into a radio transmitter. And you can transmit all kinds of things from data to voice. You could use that as an emergency transmitter, send out an SOS, or possibly even set up and combine it with an SDR receiver and turn it into a small little ham radio set. So there's a lot of capability here and it's a really cool thing to have if you have a Raspberry Pi and I'm even going to be taking a look a little closer at it and seeing if maybe I could possibly port it over to a Pine 64 board just to see if it may work or not. I'll have to look a little closer at everything inside. So let's check it out and let's do a quick easy transmission. Remember to be sure you have permission to do this. Make sure you have your ham radio license and use filtering because otherwise harmonics can cause interference and we want to avoid any kinds of issues. So let's go ahead and test it out. We'll go ahead and select our frequency as 434 megahertz. And then what we're going to do next is just take a look at it. And we'll, we'll take a look at our GQRX as I hit this button. And I have a remote SSH open. As you can see right here, it started chirping on the spectrum here and you can see that it is indeed transmitting from the antenna I have hooked up. You can also play with other types of antennas. Let's go ahead and try some voice and let's see what that sounds like. So we'll go ahead down to narrowband FM and then I'll transmit some voice. Go ahead and press enter and now Let's go ahead and see what we've got here. Okay, as you can see, it did a quick transmission there. And we can actually pick that up with our GQRX. So we'll go ahead and see what happens there. Maybe turn the gain a bit. Make it a little louder for the camera. And let's go ahead and check it out again. Now we can hear it actually transmitting. So it looks like once I tap out of that, it ends up ending the transmission. But listen carefully. So you can see that the narrowband FM transmitting is indeed working and everything is appearing right on the GQRX. So this is one great option for you if you don't want to shell out for the hack RF, you have an SDR receiver and possibly you want to set up a communications radio. Make sure you use filtering. You want to keep the harmonics to a bare minimum and make sure to have your ham radio license, especially if experimenting with other bands outside the ISM. So that is that right there. That is RPITX, as you can see the signal right here. We'll go ahead and stop this. It's got a ton of options for you. 
Let's go ahead and take another look at the menu for the test screen. And you can actually paint pictures using the actual radio receiver and transmitting off that GPIO pin. You can also go down and you can use AM modulation. So all these things can be set up fairly e easily. I'm going to actually go over some more of this in future videos. Today I just wanted to give a brief introduction to RPITX, a way you could set up communications in an emergency situation or possibly even set up a range of CB radio or slash ham radio. And in the back here we see the LoRa device from Pine64 which I'm going to be doing more videos on. That's great for long range and short messages. We're going to be talking more about that in future videos. But I wanted to bring another option to the table. That's all I have today guys. Make sure to like, share, subscribe to this video and I appreciate all my subscribers. I just want to say thank you to everyone who's taken the time to subscribe and share my videos. Make sure to subscribe over at Odyssey. And if you want to support the channel, buymeacoffee.com slash politictech slash posts. That is my blog. And you're welcome to read it. It's public posting. And if you want to grab me a coffee sometime, that's great too. And if not, I appreciate you as a subscriber. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on Linux and protecting your privacy.